Hey guys, so I wanted to take a look at adding images to a PDF. So there's a number of ways to do this and a few different options that you have. So hopefully I'll cover what those are. Uh, do let me know if I miss anything. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment or reach out to me. So here I've opened up the sample PDF that Bluebeam has and the way that you would access this is if you go to help and then if you launch the review tutorials then you can access those oh and kind of a cool tip uh, at least for me it was Bluebeam essentially is the company which I more or less knew but I did think this tool was called Bluebeam review but that's not necessarily what it is review is the tool bluebeam is the company and uh, essentially what people are doing is calling it bluebeam uh, kind of the same thing with kleenex as well so just an interesting tip so review is the uh, tool bluebeam's the company so so here we go we've got this open and we're going to add some images. You can see that there's already some here, and that's what these icons are. If we click on that, we can see that I've added one of the thumbnails from one of my other YouTube videos to this. Uh, and I've done that down here as well. And you can see there's two actually for this one. So you can add multiple images to that. And then we can come over here and see that I've added an image. And you can find those down here in the markups list and then some uh, parameters and information that pertains to them. So to do this, what we would do is we can click on a markup, we can right click, we can come down to capture, and we can either do it from a camera. Now, if we do it from a camera, it's gonna go to your uh, laptop camera. More or less, this is uh, valuable when you have the iPad integration and then you can capture images and, and do it that way but if I was to click on this it would essentially just pop up that camera on my computer and you would just see me uh, sitting here so uh, what I do is I'll do from file and it'll give us an option to go to a SharePoint library now if you want to locally grab something you can go go down here open from disk and then browse out to that location grab one open it and then it adds it if we click on this we can see we have that new uh, image added at least to this image markup here say if we wanted to add one a new one we can kind of get an idea of how that works so we'll do the same thing we'll go to open from disk which is just locally it'll take a minute to uh, to add it and then you can see it we have that little image button that we can click on and see it that way so the other way to add an image is to also come over here and this is an image that's gonna actually be um, associated with the drawing itself like we can visually see it like we can see this one down here right below this dialog box so to do that we can open up from disk grab one uh, We'll grab this one and then what it'll do is it'll load it and then it'll allow us to kind of scale it and then apply it to this drawing that way another way to kind of add an image is if you have snag it so if we copy this we can do copy all and then come in here and paste it that way Now, I would imagine that not everybody has the tool Snagit, but that pasting function works the same way as the snip or the snipping tool that Windows has. So we can come up here and do a new snippet, and then come down here and grab an area, do copy come back in here and do control V control V is what I did for the uh, snag it version as well 
but now you can see that we pasted that in there it's kind of distorted so I don't know how valuable that is but you have that option And then also you have uh, kind of the same thing as what we did there. I mean, using that snipping tool, we could, you know, close Bluebeam and grab a snippet of something else and then add it to here. But we also, if we press G, that'll allow us to take a snippet. And um, after we do that, we can do Control V and then we can paste that in and you can see there that it applies that um, and all that is is over here to the right you can see snapshot so that's G um, that's just a nice way to get a snapshot of a portion of your drawing within Bluebeam but also you have the option with uh, snipping tool and then snag it if you do have that now this does kind of bother me I mean it's distorted I mean you can't even almost use that so if you do go in here um, what we'll do is we'll try to do a new one. Just make sure, because essentially when it's zoomed out, it's going to have issues. Try to zoom in. Uh, if you are using this tool, I would recommend if you're taking snippets of Bluebeam, use the uh, snapshot tool. But outside of Bluebeam, maybe snip this snipping tool is pretty pretty useful. But uh, just keep in mind, it will be distorted if you take a, uh, a shot that's pretty far away so with that a little bit closer we'll do copy come up here we'll paste it in and we can see that it definitely is a lot better in comparison so So those are the options pretty much. So you have the snag it tool that you can drop in there. You have the snipping tool. You have the snapshot. You have attached PDFs or uh, images either this way or by coming over here and clicking this but button for images. You can add it this way. Uh, and then we also have, this isn't necessarily, um, a image but if you go up to your uh, view or is it um, I'm gonna pause this so tools that's what it was uh, you can add hyperlinks and then file attachments so you can attach files and one example of that which is in this drawing is right here this is a file attachment you can click on it it's an RFI and then uh, uh, you have that here so um, you can add attachments as well so I mean those could be to images but essentially we have images and then attachments so like PDFs such as this RFI and uh, so on so do let me know if you have any questions or if I missed anything uh, oh, one, one more thing is down here in the markups list, you do have information that pertains to some of that stuff. I kind of mentioned it, but uh, do keep that in mind. A lot of the information, so the markups that you add up here, you'll find down here. And then you can also add more information to this if you go to the markups list and then columns. You have those options to, to add some other parameters. So let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this helps you out, and thanks a lot for watching.